Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on bias. Now let's start with the definition of bias. Bias is when one view or a thing is greatly preferred or disfavored over others. Biases can be held against ideas, people or a group of people. It implies a lack of partiality, open-mindedness and fairness. People can be born with biases. Alternatively, they can also develop them. Moving on to the origin of the term bias. The word is first found in the old provincial language. From there it is picked up in old French where it means sideways, askance against the grain. From there the word comes to French to mean a slant, a slope, an oblique. English borrowed the word from there. It was used to describe balls that had more weight on one side than the other. They were used to rig games of bowls. It started getting used more generally to mean a one-sided tendency of mind. In legal terms it means undue propensity or prejudice. Moving on to types of bias, starting with the first one, cognitive bias. A cognitive bias is when the ability to assess or judge something gets skewed. It leads to the person drawing faulty conclusions. The types of cognitive bias include first, anchoring. Anchoring is the tendency to draw conclusions from whatever the person first comes across. It is the heuristic of the mind. Next, apophenia. Apophenia is a propensity to spot patterns when there are none. Gamblers often suffer from this bias. It is known by other names as well such as agenticity or paternicity. Next, attribution bias. An attribution bias stems from people trying to figure out the motivations of other people's actions or their own. Next, confirmation bias. Confirmation bias leads people to remember, seek out, interpret and prefer information that bolsters the view they already have. They will tend to ignore things that might prove otherwise. Next, framing. Framing is used to steer the course of how people communicate with each other, organize and see reality in general. It is used by political leaders and movements, social movements, mass media, etc. Next, cultural bias. Cultural bias is found when someone tries to understand another culture through the lenses of one's own. They will assess using the standards of their own culture. This can mean in terms of many things like taboos, assessment of evidence, logical and linguistic standards, justice, choice of partners and color. Next, the halo effect. The halo effect describes a situation where a person has a favorable opinion of one facet of a person or thing. This then leads to them developing a favorable view of other facets of the person or thing. It comes from the imagery of a saint's halo. Next, the status quo bias. Status quo bias is when someone likes things to be the way they are. It is an emotional response. People see the current situation as the best possible scenario. Therefore, any change becomes a loss. And finally, the horn effect. The horn effect is when a person dislikes one aspect of another person or thing. This leads to them disliking the person or thing in general. This term comes from the imagery of a devil's horns. Moving on to types of statistical bias. These entail first forecast bias. A forecast bias is when the predicted outcome is vastly different from what actually happens. This keeps happening again and again. The prediction of a quantity ends up being much greater than the results or much lower. Next, observer expectancy effect. The observer expectancy effect occurs when the researcher alters the participants reactions without either realizing this. This happens when the researcher has a preconceived expectation. Next, reporting bias. Reporting bias is when outcomes closer to the prediction are preferred. Those that disagree are overlooked. Then comes social desirability bias. Social desirability bias takes place in surveys related to the social science fields. This happens when participants skew their answers according to what is more socially acceptable. And finally, selection bias. Selection bias happens when the sample size selected is biased in one way or the other. The sample can be people, data points or group of people. This bias might also be intentional or unintentional. The sample as a result might not end up representing the larger population at all. Moving on to bias in law enforcement. Such as first, driving while black. Driving while black refers to African Americans getting profiled because of their race in the United States. Next, racial profiling. Racial profiling happens when a person from a racial or ethnic background is deemed to have certain qualities because of attributes ascribed to their race. Their individual ability is overlooked. This is also called ethnic profiling. And finally, victim blaming. Victim blaming is when a person experiences a loss or tragedy is blamed for or what has happened to them. Victimology is a discipline that tries to absolve victims from this phenomenon. And moving on to artificial intelligence bias. Artificial intelligence bias happens when there are biases in the data collected. This skews the AI algorithms made therein one way or the other. One of the examples is of a racial prejudice entrenched in American healthcare. 
A study published in October 2019 investigated bias in the American healthcare system. An algorithm used to find people who are more likely to need healthcare selected white people disproportionately and black people were left out. There had been no mention of race in the algorithm. Nevertheless, the bias occurred because the algorithm took into account other indicators that are related to race. One example is that black people had lower healthcare cost history. Healthcare cost was used to determine the healthcare concerns that a person might have. However, black patients were found to have lower cost history than white people even when they shared the same ailments. And the final and the most recent examples of AI bias is Apple's credit card under scrutiny by the US regulator. Apple launched a Goldman Sachs credit card in 2019. Soon complaints started coming from women on Twitter. They claimed men would get access to more credit than them. One example was tech mogul David Hansen. Hansen said he could get as much as 20 times the credit that his wife was allowed. Interestingly, Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple with Steve Jobs, made the same accusation. He said that he and his wife have the same assets, linked bank accounts, etc. She was given access to less credit. This got the regulatory bodies to launch an inquiry into the issue. According to March 2021 statement, the New York Department of Financial Services found that Goldman Sachs Group didn't use any discriminatory practices in the credit card distribution process. So that's it folks this brings an end to the topic on bias these are some sources and links referred to for the content in the video thank you and see you in the next video